This is the time of year when we begin to coalesce as a community and begin to recognize those who really uh, give their heart and souls back to uh, especially nonprofit organizations here in the Santa Clarita Valley. And that culminates in the nominations for the SCV Man and Woman of the Year. Nominees are all uh, participants of some sort of nonprofit here in town. They are nominated by the nonprofits that they usually participate in. And in this case, this morning, our nominee... Uh, who's been nominated by both the uh, Boy Scouts of America, the local chapter, and the Domestic Violence Center, uh, Sue Reynolds. Good morning. Hey, George. Always a pleasure to have you on the show. And uh, uh, you have been nominated a few times, correct? Yes, yes. This uh, has been a repeat scenario for me. Loving it. Loving it. But for the most part, it, it, it every year, this, if nothing else, shines a light on the organizations that you represent. I have said so many times that it is a tremendous honor to sit in that photograph with that collection of people. These are the amazing folks in our valley. And you do a lot, uh, Boy Scouts of America, of course. Now, did this start out because you happened to have a, uh, a son who was probably a, a Boy Scout age at one time? It happened to be a Boy Scout age at one time, yes. I've been a den mother, cub master, merit badge counselor, committee member, fundraiser. Now Doberman Noodle and I go out around town and raise funds, put on the uniform, have your picture taken with the boy Cub Scouts, and collect money. And overachiever. <laughs> I love it. But we're also talking about your work with the uh, Santa Cruz Valley Domestic Violence exactly. Center, how important that is. Yes. So uh, the Domestic Violence Center of Santa Cruz Valley has both a, an emergency shelter as well as a program here in town for trauma, including being a DASH center, which means that individuals Individuals who are suffering from violent scenarios can go just here at our center in Santa Clarita and have the court advocacy help that will allow them to get an appropriate restraining order or other things that are necessary to protect them and their families. And, and that's important. We like to think that we've got kind of a stepper town here and those things don't happen, but I, I'm crossing all all genres, all income all levels, all socioeconomic and right? strata. We, uh, yes, we would love to say that here in Awesome Town we do not have these kinds of problems. Yet there were six women lost in this valley last year. You might remember our Red Dress project, where with the help of the Zanta Club here in Santa Clarita, we hung six red dresses around the valley to commemorate the six women who lost their lives to domestic violence here in Santa Clarita. And and how important it is to raise funds for for this because a lot of times uh, uh, victims of domestic violence don't necessarily have the means if they're just escaping, basically, The right? means, the knowledge, uh, the support around them. Uh, this is our theme for the upcoming fairy shelter breakfast, that violence is no fairy tale, that women predominantly, but children, seniors, men can experience violence as well. Uh, any kind of relational violence. Uh, the issue is, are these people well enough informed so many times they do not even know where or how to reach for help? So their abuser takes advantage of that. Exactly. And so raising awareness, raising funds uh, for the Domestic Violence Center, and also bringing it back around to the Boy Scouts is still important, even though it's a, it's a we think of it as a rock-solid organization, and hey, you know, they must get money from somewhere, but it is still important to raise the, raise the level of awareness of what it does for, for kids here in the Santa Cruz Valley and elsewhere. And for me, the issues chain together. If we raise healthy men, we will have healthy families. So indeed, that if we can save some child, some young boy here in Santa Cruz Valley and enable that individual, that, that family, that mom, that single mom that may not even know that she could have a Cub Scout instead of a kid that's just loose on the streets, as exactly. my mother would have said. My mother called it, you're not, you're not going to yeah. go ramming around. That's my mother, running the streets, you're out running the streets. That's right. Exactly. So, so we can possibly save lives with the work of both the Scouts and the Domestic Violence Center. Well, the work you do for the Santa Cruz Valley truly appreciated, culminated in the form of a nomination for SEV Woman of the Year, Sue Reynolds. We wish you the best of luck in this event. And if not, if nothing else, we'll see you around town. Always a pleasure to see your smiling, happy face here Thank in the you, Santa Cruz Valley.